Today in our School Matters series, the crisis in the country's rural classrooms due to a shortage of teachers. About one in five U.S. students attend rural schools, but those communities struggle to recruit and retain their instructors. In Colorado, rural teachers are among the lowest paid in any state across the nation. Our national correspondent, Jerika Duncan, recently traveled to a small town in Colorado to see how they're tackling the problem. <laughs> These aspiring teachers, undergrads from the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs, are taking a road trip to Simla. Your dating pool is certainly limited for certain. Yes. The ranching community along Highway 24 is only about 50 miles away from the city, but for some, Simla feels a world away. Ladies, welcome. Steve Wilson is the superintendent of the Big Sandy School District, where 335 students from grades pre-K through 12 learn under one roof. When you bring in prospective teachers to your school, what are they telling you they need? Salary was a big thing, key thing. And that gets brought up every year at the state level. Also, there's just a whole bunch more being dumped on educators than used to be. It's not as respected as much. It's just a tougher profession than it used to be. We have 11 sick days. 15 years ago, Wilson says there were about 30 candidates for every job opening. But in the last few years, some postings have attracted zero applicants. Our high school principal, she happened to be at a restaurant, and the waitress said that she was trying to become a teacher through an alternative licensure program. So you hired a waitress? Yes. Who was working to become a teacher? Yes. But you helped expedite that process? Yes. On this day, these teachers in training visited some of the classrooms, including Holly Kane's kindergarten class. What do you see as some of the, the major problems facing rural school districts? Affordable housing is probably the number one, you know, we do live farther out, so the prices of things are higher. You know, you go to the grocery store in a small community, you're going to pay a higher price than you would at a King Supers. The 26-year-old says she struggles to pay student loans and make ends meet on her $35,000 a year teaching salary. To cut costs, last year she lived in this camper in a field outside of school. What kept you going while you were living in that trailer? Just coming to school every day and seeing seeing the children and just making bonds with them. Good job. We heard from Holly who talked about living in a trailer. Yes. What does it say about how difficult it is to work and make a reasonable salary? It's difficult. It has to be something you truly love. Mary Bauer loves the job so much she came back in 2018 after leaving in 2013 to be close to her husband and their home near Denver. It's about 90 miles away. Now, during the week, Bauer stays with her sister in Simla. She said, I know someone who has cheap rent. <laughs> By that, I mean free, so I stay at my sister's for free. She returned to Big Sandy to teach Spanish after the district failed to find a qualified teacher. So they lost their Spanish teacher right at the beginning of the school year and tried online, and it was pretty difficult for them. A lot of the kids had to go back and repeat the year that they lost. They were that far behind. They were that far behind, yeah. But coaxing former teachers and retirees back into the classroom is a Band-Aid solution. You're expecting upwards of eight to ten teachers to retire in the next five years. What do you do then? Yeah, that's a tough thing. Some people, some schools are in that boat right now. And uh, I think we're shortchanging our students. Wilson hopes that some of these college like students actually return here as teachers. I'm curious. How many of you would be interested in a rural school or a school like this um, in the future? What changed your mind? Everyone's kind of in it together, and I really like that aspect. I went to a high school where I graduated with 300 people, mm -hmm. and to think that this school has 300 kids from preschool to 12th grade just like blows my mind because everybody knows each other. Mm -hmm. And just to think that you could like work in a school with that kind of community, that bond, I just, I want to be a part of it. For CBS This Morning, Jerika Duncan, Simla, Colorado. Hmm. That's a beautiful thing. I mean, yeah. ed education is part of the promise of this country. It, Public education it, and it programs like that are helping support Teachers it. are so important. They yeah. could ch a good teacher can change your life Everything. forever. All right.